Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> How are you guys doing today? So, <clears throat> I thought I would bring you along on my most fantastical journey of having to wrap presents. So, I'm gonna show you guys something here. But first, I wanted to show you, look at these beautiful flowers that my sponsor got me for my 28 year sobriety birthday. Aren't they so, they're so nice, aren't they? I'm so happy about them. So I thought I would put them over here with all of our, it's like a Christmas bouquet of flowers. So I thought I would uh, put them over here with all of our other Christmas stuff. But anyway, um, so let me tell you a little story. <laughs> I do not love to wrap presents, all right? Now, my husband, every present that came in the mail, because we did most of our shopping online, every present that came in the mail, he like wrapped it immediately. So like all of his wrapping is already done. The only wrapping that I have done are these two little presents right here next to Sally Joe the elf. These two little presents right here for Alex. And you can see, part of the problem is I'm not the world's greatest rapper. <laughs> um, when I was a kid, I loved to rap. And here's the thing is that when my mom was like in college at Christmas time, she and my aunt both used to work at this department store here called Blocks. And they would, um, they w worked in the customer service wrapping area. And so they knew how to do like bows and perfect bows and all this kind of stuff. So for every year for Christmas, I mean, every single present that like they ever gave to anybody had the most beautiful wrapping paper and the most, you know, and, and it was always themed. Like I can remember one year, my Aunt Kathy, she did like all like blue and white, like white polka dots, like really small like paper, but it was like different sizes of polka dots. And she did like a whole theme of like blue and white polka dots with blue bows and white bows and big bows and small bows. And so it looked beautiful under the Christmas tree. And when I was a kid, my mom would teach me these things and so I love to do it. I love to do the, the one, you know, where you like take the, the scissors, you know, and, and you go to like the back of the ribbon and it, like it curls. Like I used to love to do that and stuff. But I just don't love it anymore. In fact, I'm kind of wishing that I had just purchased a bunch of bags <laughs> to put everything in because it would have just made my life a hundred times easier. Because let me show you what I have looking forward to in the next 24 hours. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pick a Christmas movie out because I've been trying to like watch all these Christmas movies. I think I'm just gonna uh, pick a Christmas movie out and then just be like, okay, you're getting this done tonight. Well, I guess I only have one night left to do it. So here are all of my, those are all of the Christmas presents that I have to wrap still. And my husband, I don't know if you can see, but he got these boxes from Amazon. So he did all like black boxes this year with these beautiful ribbons and stuff on them. So I tried to pick wrapping paper that would kind of match that. So I got this plaid paper and then I, and I got this at Meyer, and then I got this Santa Claus. So here I should do a little thumbnail, shouldn't I? Hold on, that's not, because the wrapping paper is not looking very good for my thumbnail. Anyway, so I really love this plaid and you guys know I love like a tartan plaid. So anyway, I use that for Alex's first two, but I do want to use this Santa Claus paper because I think it's cute and um, it's just kind of a little bit different. Each of these rolls, which they're like really, really big, are were like $7.99, I think. So the present that I'm going to wrap while I am filming for you guys today. <gasps> is my present for my cousin Caroline, because you can't tell what it is by the box that I have. Everything else, you can kind of tell what it is. So, let me just say, these are the things that you need to wrap a present with Peter. This is kind of like a DIY, okay? You need wrapping paper. So here we have our wrapping paper. You need tape, of course. You need scissors which you always hand scissors to somebody like this, okay? You don't ever hand, you, did your mom teach you that? If your mom didn't teach you that, Peter's teaching you that. You don't ever point scissors at somebody and you don't ever hand them to them. You hand them to them like this, okay? And then you need a black Sharpie. <laughs> cause we don't do gift cards and stuff like that. Around. Does he have gift cards on his? He probably does cause he's so fancy this year. But I always just like wrap, <laughs> which is like right on the bottom. About, see, here you can see, it says, Alex on the back of the present, right? So then you know 
that that's for Alex, okay? So all we need is a black Sharpie. All right, so let me pull you guys over here for just a second. Hold on a minute. Clean up as you go. That's the other thing, right? When, uh, back in the day when my mom and my aunt were still alive too, when we would unwrap presents, they would have like one bag that like you put all of like the wrapping paper in, you would just like, you know, ball it up and throw it away. And then they had another bag, like a big shopping bag like this, that uh, was for the, the bows because they would of course save the bows every year because you could redo the bows and reuse the bows. So, all right, so here we go. So I'm gonna go in with this Santa Claus wrapping paper, right like this. <laughs> do you guys wanna get down on the floor and see as I do this? That would probably be like the point of the video, wouldn't it? Okay, so, well, I don't know. This is, that's not gonna work. That's just not gonna, I'm sorry. It just is not gonna work like that. We don't want, we don't wanna show Peter all gutted either. Okay, so, hold on a second. I don't know how I'm gonna do this so you guys can see it. It doesn't matter. You guys are like, Peter, we don't care. We just don't care, okay? You're wrapping a present. It doesn't matter, just talk to us. So yeah, so I'm wrapping this present. And here's the present right here. Caroline, don't look. So, and what you do is, oh, I forgot that I was cleaning up as I got. So, put you over here. So what you do is you leave just a little bit. Now, this paper is really cool, I have to show you. It's the same on this wrapping paper, but on the back, it has this, do you see? I don't know if you can see it. But it has the lines and the measuring, so you know how, like how and how much to do, right? But for me, I always just go, okay. Mm. <laughs> this is where I'm not a good wrapper, because, well, first of all, I need to put the box upside down. But I'm always like, I overestimate like how much, and then I have like all of that extra hanging out in the end. And yes, I've seen the DIY videos of like what to do when you have like extra wrapping paper and all that kind of stuff. But like, you know what? It just doesn't make any sense to me. And actually, I was watching this Instagram today and it was this woman and she was doing like all of these like really cool things with her wrapping. And I thought, and, and she, I mean, literally like in 30 seconds, she made it look like so cool. She was like pulling it up and she put an art ornament in it and it looked like so beautiful and everything. And I was like, yeah, as if, like that would never happen in my house. Like <laughs> the Casa de Mon for uh, wrapping presents, that is not how it would look. I can hardly even <laughs> cut the wrapping paper to be like even. <laughs> This is like, do you guys ever, I, like I said, don't point with the scissors and here I am. Like when you try to cut off jean shorts, like I always make, this is so bad, but I always either make like one leg shorter than the other or the other thing I do is I always like try them on and then like I put like, I like I clip like a little part like where I want them to be or I like put a marker where I want them to be on my jean shorts and then always nine times out of 10 when I get them cut off and I'm like, oh, I, I think they're perfect when I'm cutting them and then when I lay them on the bed, they're literally like Daisy Dukes. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Okay, so. <laughs> oh, the paper's ripping, this is not good. Janet, that's what. <laughs> okay. Well, we're just gonna start over. I know you guys are like, you could have saved that paper. I know, but I'm mad, so. <laughs> that's the truth right there, I'm mad. We're gonna turn the paper around this way and hope that it does better. <laughs> All of my videos, whether it's like making coffee in a hotel room <laughs> or whether it's wrapping a present, all of my videos are basically Peter failing at something. <laughs> Such is my life. My husband told me earlier, he said, I'm not, I'm not helping you wrap your family's presents for you this year. And I go, you didn't help me wrap my family's presents for me last year. He goes, oh, okay. And then I was like, did he? I think maybe he might have. <laughs> okay. So, measure the paper. Okay, got the paper measured. Now let's hope this time. The truth is that I just really, here, we're gonna pull you closer because I just don't want you to see me gutted. If that weren't the issue, it's all because of that. I would never have ripped. <laughs> what is going on with this tripod? I never would have ripped the paper. Okay, so here we go, we're gonna. Whoo! 
Oh, tell me I didn't rip it again down there. Sweet Lord. Okay. Caroline better be awfully thankful for this present when I get this done wrapped. <laughs> I wish you guys could see <laughs> how crappy this looks. I mean, this is literally like the worst <laughs> wrapping paper. I mean, <laughs> I just keep on like, I'm like hitting it like a dad. Like, it's just so bad, you guys. <laughs> God. I mean, I just want to show you this for a second, okay? True story. Can we just talk about this? I mean, <laughs> look at my cutting abilities. <laughs> Okay, this is why I hate it and why I just need to do bags. Okay. We'll hide it later. We'll hide it later. <laughs> this is why my jean shorts always end up becoming Daisy Dukes. Okay, now I am going to save this paper because I've got some smaller packages that I can use up to. I, I really, now I feel bad and I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have done that to that paper, but okay. Well, whatever, I can't do anything about it now. Okay, so here I've got my paper cut, and here's the box. So, put this on. Now, I will tell you what I do. I always put like one side over, and then I tape it so it's real tight. Do you guys do that? Okay. Okay. And I try not to get a paper cut <laughs> because that's kind of my luck is that Peter gets a paper cut trying to do these things. Oh, okay. There you go. And then there, see, we have our present. It's almost done. And then I need to get the ends done, which the ends are always, that's where everything just looks horrible, you know? I should have waited before I had this tape. So when my mom passed away, her bathroom, like, well, our bathroom now, she had a kitchen table in there that she actually used as a wrapping station. She had like wrapping paper and rolls of tape and all this, I mean, it was like professional, like wrapping station. It was unbelievable. And then my aunt, she had one in her basement that was like a full wrapping station. I mean, till the day they died, they were like very, very serious about this stuff. And that's so funny. I can't even remember how I folded these on the other side. Although I will say, I probably could learn a few things from them. <laughs> how did I do this over there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. There she goes. Okay. It doesn't matter, right? It's the thought that counts. Christmas is Christmas is not about the presents or the gifts or any or the wrapping paper, although I do think that pretty wrapping paper does make it so much nicer, but And then there it is. And then right on Santa's beard. So there it is. Hi! Right on Santa's beard, I'm going to write, Caroline. <laughs> I'm going to write, Cousin Caroline. And there she is. One present down, 50 more to go. So <laughs> there it is. Look at that. Oh, it looks so nice, doesn't it? There we go. Anyway, have you guys got all your presents wrapped? <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> I love you guys. I'll see you later. Bye.